Have you decided what you're going to be for Halloween yet? Well, if not, maybe this video will inspire you or uh, give you a new idea of what you could possibly do. Because in this video, I'm going to do a Poison Ivy makeup tutorial, but it's gonna be a little spooky, a little something extra, because that's how we roll here. You might be thinking to yourself, and you look a little silly right now. The answer to that is, how dare you? But also, yes. So I have my hair in braids because I'm going to be wearing a wig for this. Not that I don't think you could be Poison Ivy with any hair, but happen to have a wig that works really well for this, so I thought, why not? So I got my hair all in braids because I'm going to tuck it all underneath the wig cap. And also, I do not have my usual eyebrows on. I have like red ginger eyebrows because that's what color the wig is. <laughs> and it would look silly if I just had my regular ones, so. Pish posh. Here's how we're gonna get started. So this is essentially what I'm aiming to achieve. <laughs> I just sketched this out last night because I kind of like to have a little bit of a plan going in. To do the flower around the eye, I picked up at Michael's this one rose. It's It says Garden Bloom Ashland on it. It was uh, priced at $6, but I had a coupon, so I got it for like three bucks. I was like amazed with myself. I'm going to now cut this up. We're gonna use the leaves too. So separate all of your petals and um, keep the green stuff. Like I said, we're gonna use it. Keep this all um, just safely to the side while we do the actual like eye makeup part before we apply these. For my left eye, I'm gonna do fairly neutral, not too exciting, kind of just regular, like a nude shadow and you know, the lashes and the whole thing. But then this other eye is going to be very different. So there's gonna be two different things happening. Everything I use will be in the description box. So if I don't mention it in the video, don't worry. It will be in the description box and you'll be able to find it. The first thing I'm using is Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer, just an old staple, just to go under my eyes and on my eyelids. I'm gonna do a little dab of uh, a white color in the corner. This is um, Lise Watier's Folie Blanche, and it's like a loose powder. And I'm also going to use it on my brow bone. Now I'm going to use Stila's In The Light Eyeshadow Palette. Mine has seen better days. Bliss, which looks like this. It's just a nude. I'm just covering the majority of my eyelid with this nude color. I'm gonna take a tiny amount of this one called Sunset. It's like a reddish brown. I'm with the same brush, just like a little bit in the crease, just to kind of give some depth. Now as far as shadow goes, this eye is done. Things are gonna get really fun now, because we're going to use the Sugar Pill Palette, Love, which is the red one right here. A lot of the fun Halloween looks that I do don't really uh, look like they make any sense until the very end, so this is gonna be one of those. <laughs> Go right down underneath your eye. And you're all done! Oh my god, can you imagine? I am going to start putting some other colors in here. Like, I'm going to add a little bit more of that fun sunset color from the Stila palette, the reddish gold. You kind of, at this point, have to stop seeing this eye as like a regular eye, because normally you wouldn't want to put, you know, like eyeshadow that's dark on your brow bone. This is not going to be a regular eye. It's not a regular eye, it's a cool eye. Kind of blend out these edges. We're really going for a subtle daytime look with this. I'm now going to add in a little bit of black. I'm using Ebony, that's also from the Stila palette. Good old eyeliner and mascara and whatnot, which is not that exciting. But, you know, I'm gonna do a little bit of a cat eye. You don't have to do that with this. You can do whatever suits your eye shape, but you do want to give um, a bit of a decent amount of eyeliner. We're going for like a sultry kind of thing. I know you really wouldn't think that. I'm using my old standbys, which is Stila All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and uh, Benefits Their Real Mascara, which is basically my replacement Rimmel Sexy Curves. I feel like I've been talking about that mascara for years. 
I'm not over it. It was so good. I don't know why they discontinued it. I'm gonna be like an 82 year old woman and I'll still be talking about sexy curves. Why did they discontinue it? All the kids will be like, oh, grandma, not the sexy curve story again. Oh, I got it a little bit in my eye. That's okay. Builds character. I'm gonna tight line my eye with Elizabeth Arden. Beautiful color, precision glide, eyeliner. It looks like this. Even though this looks so good right now, I'm still gonna do some eyeliner though. And now, to curl my eyelashes and add mascara. So while my mascara is kind of drying a little bit, I'm gonna just pop the wig on and everything. Just pinning the braids out of the way. Time for a wig cap. Not that this doesn't look great, but let's put the wig on. And just kind of pin the actual hair out of the way because the next part, we really don't want to get any eyelash glue or anything else in. So I'm using two different kinds of false eyelashes. Uh, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, it's kind of extra. For my left eye, I'm using this like really normal everyday casual pair from Quo. And then from my right eye, I'm using this super spiky pair that I got at um, the Pacific Mall in Markham. They look like this, it's like a very intense spiky pair. While those are drying, I'm gonna add a little bit of green to my forehead. I have two different greens here. They're both by Sugar Pill. It's called Absinthe, it's a loose eyeshadow. And then this other one is called Midori, and it's a pressed eyeshadow, and it looks like this. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, and why didn't you just do this when you were doing all the other eyeshadow? The answer is that I kinda needed to see what it would look like with the wig. Now comes the part that I like to call gluing stuff to your face. So I'm gonna start with like the greenery. And you might find that as you're doing this, you kind of have to have your scissors on hand to trim them or make them a little different shaped because sometimes when you cut them off a fake flower, they just don't kind of turn out perfectly for the space that you're trying to MacGyver them into. But Ange, what are we gonna use? Well, my friend, we're going to use our handy dandy duo eyelash adhesive. So you can apply it to the leaf or your face itself. Um, for the first couple ones, I'm gonna just apply glue to my face. And you have to uh, let the glue kind of get tacky. It takes about 30 seconds. And I'm just gonna hold it until it's dry. I prefer um, eyelash glue to spirit gum, and not everybody does, especially because a lot of eyelash glue is latex-based and that can bother some people's skin. But for me, spirit gum is a lot rougher on my skin. It's whatever you wanna do. You wanna start with bigger petals around the edges, and as you're getting closer to the um, inner part of your eye, you want to use smaller petals, just like on an actual rose. So once you get quite a few petals glued down, you're going to have to start cutting your petal pieces really tiny or else they're just not gonna fit. So I'm pretty happy with my flower arrangement type thing. It needs a little more work. I need to add a little bit more makeup in uh, the socket, but I don't wanna do that until the glue is dry because it's just gonna make a mess out of everything. So in the meantime, we're gonna do the lips. You can do any color of red that really suits your skin. I'm gonna do like a deep wine red because that really suits my skin tone best. MAC um, Burgundy Lip Pencil. So just as a finishing touch to kind of bring, because this looks a little haberdashery right now, I'm going to use a little bit of the Love Plus on a little bit of the black eyeshadow from the Stilo palette and just kind of um, add a little bit of dimension. Ah, now it's coming together, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Once you are happy with your flower eye, <laughs> a sentence I thought I'd never say, we're just gonna adjust the hair and fix it all. And there we have it. I'm gonna give you a couple close-ups. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful Halloween no matter what you're doing, even if you're just staying home and handing out candy to kids. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Just figure out a weird kind of something like this. And then I just put bobby pins in it. Whoops, that didn't work. Um, for, I'm, I just, 
I just totally chucked a lip pencil. Well done. Good. <laughs>